Hey, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a K&N high flow air filter. And it gives you more airflow. They say 50%. And you guys already know what I did to the air box to give it more airflow because there's the factory intake. And it goes way down there to a little small point down there. And that's the size of the intake going in. And of course you got your intake tubing. Hey Coda, we'll play in a little bit. Get your ball ready. Get the tennis ball. All right, back to this. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install a K&N box filter, which will give you more flow whether you do my intake mod or not, which I did. I cut a larger hole on the dirty side of the air filter box. Never make any cuts up here. Just the one right where the air source is. You can cut additional holes down on the bottom like I showed you in the last video. Well, I'm gonna show you how to install this K&N air filter. It is real easy. Check this out. First, I'll take it out of the box. More to follow. Okay, when you open the box, here's what you got. You got a little K&N filter, it's pre-oiled. And there's your K&N sticker. Plus it tells dealerships not to throw your K&N filter away. You know, you go to the dealer for an air filter change and they throw your $50 air filter away because it's a lifetime filter. You just keep cleaning it, put it back in, wash it, reuse it. It's at least a good 100,000 mile plus type filter. So it'll last probably as long as your vehicle. You just clean it once in a while. I, I live in a dusty area, so I've got to clean it more often. And you get this nice little K&N sticker to put it wherever you want. And next I'm going to take the plastic off the filter. More to follow. Okay, I got the plastic off the filter. I'm gonna put the sticker right here when I'm done. And I'm gonna show you how to take this air filter off. I've shown you in other videos, but I'll make it easy and show you again since it's so easy. You go one clip, two clip, and then pull back and up you go and just Take out the old air filter, put it to the side, take the new air filter, get it ready, lift up, new air filter, right in there like so, nice and easy, okay, line those little grooves with these little fingers right here. Line them up with those grooves, like so. Then, one snap. And two snap. And you're all finished, look at that. So, maybe I'll just put the little sticker, yeah, right here. This looks like a good spot, more to follow. There you go. Put the sticker on there, lets them know, hey, this is a K&N filter, don't throw it away like you would a box filter. And then you just take the box filter and put it in the K&N box so you have your stock filter if you ever wanna sell the truck or put it in for whatever reason, you still got the stock filter. All right, well, I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends how easy I make things in these videos. Save a lot of money by doing the stuff yourself. I paid about, you know, 45, 50 bucks for the K&N air filter, where normally a whole intake kit would cost around $400. So, you know, hey, I'm saving you guys money. Performance on a budget, ad boosting. Have a great day.